Hey, what's up guys? You may have noticed that I posted this video yesterday already and this one's a little different, but that's because uh, re-watching it back, I noticed there was some things that I missed and a way that I could make it better for you and a little less convoluted. So we are going to show you how to turn your gaming clips into content in a matter of minutes. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about here is the OBS Studio uh, replay buffer, which is what you can use to get clips uh, quickly and easily so that you don't have to go through hours of Twitch VODs or record your gameplay and go through hours of gameplay recordings. You can just hit a hotkey and it will take the last X amount of time that you set. So I have mine. I'm not going to really go over it in this video because uh, I'll leave a link in the description for a video that I have on how to set it up to get high quality clips. But uh, I have mine set so that when I press F12, it takes the last two minutes of my gameplay and just saves it in a folder on my computer. And then I can go ahead and edit it later. This way, I don't have to uh, go through hours of my Twitch VODs to go back and clip things. And you also don't need to be recording your gameplay while you do this. You can just start the replay buffer and it'll run while you're uh, playing if you're off stream. So you don't need to be streaming or recording and you can still get high quality clips using that. So that's just how I get my clips. But however you do it is fine. And then uh, once you have your clips, we will go to the next step. For me personally, I use uh, Filmora here. I started with a free version. I used to use a different free editor, but it was I hated editing. It wasn't very user friendly. Uh, it was kind of hard to use. And then a friend turned me on to Filmora here. And since then, uh, I actually bought the paid version because I use it so often and there's so many great features, but there is a free version available. I'll put a link for in the description that you can use. So first here, uh, as you can see, I've got this OBS recordings folder, which every time these are all clips from my gameplay, when I hit F12, it just drops it with a date timestamp in this folder. And for today's video, I'm going to use this clip here. Um, so you just drag it into Filmora or whatever editor you have. Put it down here. We want to match it to 60 FPS. And then what I like to do is hit the fit to screen button right here so that you can see your whole length of video in the bottom here and it makes it easier to work with. And because we're just doing clips for shorts and stuff here, we can right away cut off all the stuff we don't need. Like uh, I already know at least a minute and a half of this video I don't need. So I'll click that and cut it right here. Delete the first half. Fit that to screen again just so it's a lot easier for me to work with. Now, the video on this I wanted to use was because of the death comms that I got from this guy. So um, what I like to do is start where your video ends, cut it there, and do about 10-15 seconds back to get the whole length. Oh, he's right behind me. Came up the fudge and circle tower. The fudge and circle tower? And then I'll do it right there. So uh, I wanted to say he came up the fudged circle tower and then me repeating it and then the clip will end right there so I can just cut it and then everything after I can just delete and then now when we're at the end of our video here you want it to be about between 10 and 15 seconds as those typically do the best for views so what I like to do is uh, take 15 seconds back from here so from 24 it would be 9 hit enter and let's self revive still is not as much as I want. So if I want to oh, start, right. start right here, um, for me, I like to have two seconds in the clip before the action starts where uh, in TikTok, I add some text at the beginning so that I can use that as a thumbnail because uh, it's easier for me to get my video and convert it to vertical, convert it to vertical format and have that um, posted to TikTok, and then I add all my stickers and all that kind of sense editing in TikTok, and then I have my settings set so that it saves a local copy when I post it, and then the video I get from TikTok is what I post on YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels or whatever. So having that two seconds of text at the beginning allows me to choose that as a cover image on YouTube. So if we want this to start about two seconds before this, let's go to uh, 14. 
Oh shit. Or wait. Let's have a go. Right here. So we can just cut that and then delete this first part. Hit it. We've got bam, a 10 second clip here, and it's got everything that I want it to. And then I want to export this. So another thing you can do to save time is create presets. And for my short form content, I have a 1080p 60 FPS 320 kilobit per second sound uh, preset. So what I did here was I clicked best H264 none 1920 1080 60 FPS 80,000 for your best quality uh, SDR 709 and then audio AAC stereo 48,320 and then I just hit saved. So now every time I can just choose this preset and export. Boom, and now that export is done. And now we want to convert the video to a vertical format so that it looks better on mobile devices. And for that, today we're going to use Streamladder. Streamladder is also another free tool that you can use, but they do have a paid version. I started using the free version, and then I've noticed that I use Streamladder so much that the paid version was worth it for me. So I pay monthly for this, but you don't have to. And so I upload a local file and we're going to get this one that I just uh, downloaded here. But if you know, uh, what you can also do is just go from Twitch. And if you have uh, clips on Twitch that maybe your chat clipped or you've already went through and clipped, you can just copy the clip in here and get it that way. But because we uh, clip in OBS and then edit it quick, we uh, will just upload a local file. Another thing to notice uh, to save time is when you're on here, you can save your templates. And what this will do is save the layout of where you have your camera and your um, UI if you have it and other stickers. So you can just click it and it will automatically uh, put everything in that format. So I wouldn't even have to do this all again. But for the purpose of this video, I will show you. We're going to go with a small face cam here. I have the plus version, but you can do split or any of these other ones that are free. So select where the face cam area is. I will choose. Uh, right there, it looks good. Game feed. I want it a little bit out from the camera. And this will allow it so that it looks better on the screen and it's not as much of a widescreen format. Edit video. And then we'll put, I usually like to put this up into the blurred section. Uh, I don't add any text here because, like I said, I like to add all my text on TikTok because I feel like there's more capabilities there. So we go to stickers here stickers i like to add a twitch one and i usually drop the size to about there youtube drop the size to about there and then i put these at the bottom and we'll center those just like that since i post um these on youtube shorts i put the twitch one up top because these aren't on twitch so they know it's on youtube already and then once i i don't have facebook so i don't leave put those stickers in and you can upload your own images as well to use for this if you have custom images. And then I will go to captions. So I want to caption this one because your videos have a better chance of getting more views if they are captioned. So in Streamladder right here, uh, they just put auto captions in and you can use the AI to automatically generate. So I like this style of caption and I like the orange color here. So I'll click this one and we want it in English, generate. And then this is just gonna take a few seconds to read your audio and add it to the clip. Okay, so now I can see it at the bottom here. Um, or I'll turn, there we go, there's volume. So I can see it's up at the top here. I'm gonna put it right here so let's see oh so this said oh he's right behind me so you can even edit what they say right here if you just click the block oh he's right behind me and then play um we want this as one sentence so we'll get rid of the space uh get rid of the period we'll lowercase that if you really care or i guess it doesn't matter because it's all uppercase here Came up the budget circle tower. Budget circle tower. 
And then here's me saying the fudgen question mark, the fudgen circle tower. So now just so you can see, we have our uh, captions here. Perfect. And then, or as you can see, you can do it by word at a time, or it'll group them in sentences. So, uh, and again, style, whatever suits you, and then uh, it'll auto pick your captions and add them right for you. Just drag it where you want it. I like to put it up here at the top and done. So then what we will do is from here, you can pause this. Uh, you go to output settings we want 1080p 60 fps and here's where i'm talking about you can save your template so if you save your template it will choose the same section for your camera image every time and place it where you had it it will put the stickers here automatically and uh captions it might not do automatically but if it doesn't uh, once you load a template it will bring you right here to the output section and then you can always go back and change and edit from there. So you just at the very start load your um, template and then right here and then go back and edit the minor things. And once that's done we want 1080p60 render clip and then here we can render it. And then once it's done uh, you can send it to TikTok or YouTube Shorts directly from here but I don't specifically do that. I, I've done it before and it kind of had an issue. It didn't work properly so I just download it from here and then once it's downloaded and it's sitting in my downloads folder uh, I have Dropbox installed on my computer and my phone so what I do is I can just uh, remove cut it from my downloads folder go to my Dropbox and public and then I paste it here and once the sync is complete I can then go on to my phone open the Dropbox application um, this video will be right at the top and I can just hit download or save to device and then I open TikTok, post my video, add my text at the beginning for two seconds so I can get my YouTube thumbnail and then when it posts on TikTok and it saves the new copy to my device, you can then use that copy to post, like I said, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of your socials. So hopefully this video helps you uh, save a lot of time and gives you the tools you need to get your content out there quick and good luck as content creators. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if this video works for you and good luck with your content and growing your brand. Peace out.